Hi, I'm Vanelli with the Skylum Education Team, and in this video, I'll show you how to creatively and consistently develop a group of images from a shoot by first processing one, then create a luminar look that can be applied to all the images, helping you spend less time editing and more time photographing. Let's get started. Now, the first step is to take a moment and just analyze a few of the images. You'll start to notice a common editing theme. Like for instance, these images I know need to be cropped to a four to a five ratio so I can produce an eight by 10 or a 16 by 20 print. Now the athletes, they look really tough. So I know I want to apply like a traumatic effect to them. And then last, I notice the bottom half of the images will look much better if it were darker. So now I have an idea on where to begin. So let's process just one of the images. To apply any filter, click the Add Filter button on the filter panel and then browse the filter catalog. Once you find the filter you want, click on it and it'll be applied to the image. Now here I just experiment with some of the settings. Now I like my sport portraits to have a slightly muted color look. So I applied a negative value to the saturation. Now the structure filter really helps to find the edges of the image, producing a grunge look that I really like. Here, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can get the full effect. Now the next filter is the detail enhancer. This gives crystal clear sharpness without the common side effect of halos. Look how it makes the eyes just pop. And last is the top and bottom lighting filter. This will darken the lower half of the image, you know, helping draw more attention to the athlete. Now, let's save this as a new Luminar look. So click the Save Luminar Look button at the bottom of the edit panel enter a descriptive name, and click the Save button. Now your Luminar Look is added to the Luminar Looks collection in the Users section. If you're wondering where the filter is located on your system, just right mouse click on the filter and select Show in Explorer or Finder if you're on a Mac to see where Luminar saves your Look Collections folder. It's a good idea to include this folder when you back up your files. Now there are a couple of ways to apply the Luminar looks to an entire set of images. An easy way is to right click on the edit image and select adjustments, then choose copy adjustments. Now in the future, just use keyboard shortcut control or command C. Press keyboard shortcut control or command A to select all the images. Now right click on any selected image and select adjustments, then choose paste adjustments. Yes, you guessed it. In the future, just use keyboard shortcut control or command V. Now press control or command D to deselect all the images. Now let's crop the images for eight by 10 and 16 by 20 prints. Now click the Done button to apply the crop. Now we could have applied the crop when we created the sports grit look, but we may not always print all images as 8x10s or 16x20s, so it's best to make this a separate step. Now let's return to the library panel and apply the crop to all the images. Press Control c to copy the crop. Control A to select all the images. And now Control V to paste the crop on all the images. Now notice, not all the crops look good. This is where quality control comes in. Now let's use the film strip to help us. Cropping should have been fixed while taking the photo. 
My camera has a four to a five crop ratio setting. I should have used that. I did shoot with a fixed 85 millimeter lens, but if I put the camera on a tripod and centered each of the athletes, we wouldn't have to do this next step. Lesson learned. So next time I'll improve my proficiency or I'll suffer through the tedious step. Click the crop tool, adjust the crop, and click the done button. Select the next image, click the crop tool, adjust the crop, and click the done button. This is a great way to ensure I'll get it right on the next photo shoot. So with a little bit of planning, we were able to creatively and consistently develop a group of images by creating a custom Luminar look that was applied to all the images, helping us spend less time editing and giving us more time for photographing. Now, Skylum is dedicated to education, so if you have questions about this technique or a technique you would like to learn, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to this Skylum channel to get the latest videos, tips, and photography inspiration each week. Well, I'm Benelli for the Skylum Education Team. Thanks for watching.